Hi, I'm Petri Huhtinen from Optomed. Today we will guide you through the following three topics. Setting up Optomed Aurora and the connections, capturing good retinal images, preliminary image analysis and transferring of the images. Optimate Aurora is delivered with its tailor-made briefcase that contains everything you need. Camera, retinal module, anterior module, charging station, USB cable, power supply, eye cups, batteries, USB flash drive, cleaning cloth, and the user manual. It is best to start the installation with the charging station and the power supply and USB cables. The cables are connected on the bottom of the charging station. Next, we connect the retinal module to the camera and one of the eye cups to the retinal module. The last step is to install the battery into the camera. The other battery can be stored on the charging station. The design of the device is simplified to make it easy to use. There is a dual action shutter button for image capture. Eject button to detach the optics module. Optoroller for navigation. And power and back buttons. The LEDs show the status of the charging. When the power is turned on, it takes a short while to start the system. Once the system is ready, turning or pressing the optoroller shows the menu of the key parameters on the bottom of the screen. Fixation target, brightness, focus mode, patient and settings. On the top of the screen there are icons showing the selected settings and the status of the battery and wireless connection. Optimate Aurora can be connected to a computer using the USB cable of the charging station or wirelessly. When using the cable, the images will be transferred automatically when the camera is set on the charging station. This time the USB cable will be used for transferring the images to the computer and the wireless connection is used for the artificial intelligence AI assisted image analysis. The AI analysis is a cloud-based service provided by Optimate together with our partners. Before using the cloud service for the first time, there are two things to set in the camera software. The cloud service must be enabled and the cloud settings must be defined. First, the cloud service is enabled. The path is Settings, Camera, Advanced Camera, Cloud service. The cloud service is turned on. The enabling must be done before the service is used for the first time. Once the cloud service is enabled, the system navigates automatically to wireless network selection. Then, after the wireless network is selected, the system moves automatically to cloud settings menu. As the last step, the settings details provided by Optimate are inserted. We have now learned to set up Optimate Aurora and enable the cloud-based AI analysis service. AI analysis service is using the wireless connection, whereas the images are transferred using the USB cable. We are now ready to start taking the images.
We will show you next how to take good retinal images. Today's portable Fundus cameras like Optimate Aurora are technically equal to a typical tabletop camera. However, we do acknowledge that taking an image with portable camera is different compared to a tabletop camera. Still, we do know that with proper training and some exercise and practice one will learn to take good images. For optimal imaging conditions it is good to dim the lights and remember the importance of hygiene. First, we select the following parameters. Patient is used to create a new folder for images of each patient. Opteroller is used to select one of the nine fixation targets. The fixation target in the middle is selected to take macula-centric images. Optimate Aurora has a new auto exposure feature that adjusts the brightness automatically. Focus mode is selected also with Opteroller. In this video, we use both autofocus and manual focusing. When taking an image with Optimate Aurora, one must pay attention to the positioning of both the examiner and the patient. For optimal results, there should be a linear alignment between the examiner's eyes, camera and patient's eyes. It is also important that the patient stays still and covers one of the eyes with hand. Covering instead of closing the other eye helps in two ways. It dilates the pupil being imaged and it is easier to keep the eye wide open for imaging when both eyes are open. Hold the camera with one hand and support the optics module with the other, keeping the hand against the patient's forehead. Start approaching the eye from about 10 cm distance. There are guiding frames on the screen, which are red, until the camera is in the right distance. Keep the pupil in the center of the display and approach until you can see the reflection from the retina, which appears grayish. Get slowly closer while keeping the view of the retina in the center of the display and close in until it fully fills the viewing area. If adjustment is needed, it is recommended to adjust the device with the hand supporting the optics module. Use only very small movements as it is easy to lose the target. If the view is lost, just withdraw the camera a few centimeters and realign to the pupil. When the frames turn into green, move the camera approximately one millimeter forward to get in the right distance. When using autofocus, Press the shutter halfway to activate it. Red square appears on the screen. The color of the square indicates to the examiner when the image is in focus. So, when the square turns into green, the image is in focus and image can be captured by pressing the shutter. As we have shown here, taking a good image with Optimate Aurora is simple. One just have to pay attention to the camera settings and a few key variables when taking the image. After capturing the image, the first analysis can be done on the camera display. There are icons providing feedback on the technical quality of the image to comment on possible reflections and the sharpness and brightness of the image. Let's take a look at some poor quality images and discuss about possible corrections. Sometimes there are reflections in the image. The location of the reflection may indicate the root cause. Namely, the imaging distance has been too long if the reflection is on the bottom of the image. On the other hand, the camera has been too close if the reflection appears on the top of the image. Reflections can be avoided in many cases by paying close attention to the guiding frames, focusing on the patient's stable position 
and holding the camera steady throughout the image capturing procedure. The images might be out of focus. The simple way to avoid this is to use autofocus. Nevertheless, if the use of autofocus is not an option, then one can manually check the refraction value, which should be the same as patient's refraction. In addition to that, the patient should be reminded to fixate to the target when the image is taken. The brightness should always be adjusted either manually or automatically based on the eye pigmentation of the patient. When images are too bright or dark, one should check the brightness setting first. Also, the imaging conditions may affect. Therefore, it is good to dim the lighting of the room whenever possible. First, one needs to select which eye was imaged left or right, and the following icons appear. Zoom enables a closer look of the image. When zooming in, optoroller is used to navigate through the image. Continue prepares the camera for the next image, moving the fixation target automatically, if necessary. Analyze closes the study and sends the images of the study for AI-assisted analysis there can be one to four images in a study. Retake keeps the same camera settings for retaking the image. Once the patient study is completed, it is closed by selecting Analyze and the images are sent for AI-assisted analysis. The analysis of one to four images takes typically less than a minute. Nevertheless, this is dependent on the wireless network used. The analysis results are displayed on the camera display. In this case, the AI analyzes the images for diabetic retinopathy. The results can be screen negative, which is shown with green color, screen positive, shown with red, or ungradable, which is gray and indicates that the image quality has been insufficient. Clicking of the More Information button provides eye-specific results in the text format. After the AI analysis, images are transferred automatically to the computer when the camera is set on the charging stage. The camera is now ready for the next study of the next patient. We have covered three key topics in this training. How to set up Optimate Aurora, how to take good retinal images, and how to analyze the images. Following the instructions given in this video will help you build confidence in retinal imaging. However, it is still very important to read the user manual, which contains more detailed information about the device and its use. We at Optimate hope that you enjoy using Optimate Aurora and trust that it will help you in your daily work. Thank you for your attention.